Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today we will be discussing about how text summarization in NLP is performed using a text rank algorithm, which finds its roots from the page ranking algorithm that is used for that is very popular and is used for uh, ranking out websites on a search engine. So let's first understand how does page rank work and how it has been extended to make it text rank also. So page rank moves on with the idea that the rank of a website depends upon uh, the importance of the web pages which has a link for website X. So for example, if a website Y has a hyperlink to website X, then it contributes to the importance of that website X. There are a couple of things that we need to understand before moving ahead. That is, uh, if a page X has five unique hyperlinks and one of the hyperlinks it belongs to, uh, to page W, then the contribution of page X to the page rank of X upon total number of unique URLs. That is, uh, its importance get divided by the total number of unique URLs it has. Similarly, if a page W is reachable by uh, say three other three pages x y and z then the total importance of page w would be equal to the summation of the importance coming from all three pages for example uh, let's uh, let's assume we need to calculate the importance of page w and uh, there are two conditions given one uh, it has uh, uh, there are three websites or pages that has hyperlinks to page w that is x y and z and uh, a website X has five unique URLs, like it also redirects to four other websites as well. Similarly, page Y uh, has four unique URLs, and page Z has three unique URLs. So, the page rank of uh, website W would be calculated using this formula that is, uh, the page rank of X divided by five plus the page rank of Y divided by four and the page rank of Z divided by three. Now, uh, you must be, uh, this is the uh, values that we are trying to put in dummy values, assuming the page rank of each page initially is 1. So, no page, like uh, going with a normal base, no page would be having a layer hyperlink to itself. So, it becomes a 0 as it don't have a link to itself. If page rank of x initially is 1, then 1 divided by 5 would be 0 0.2. Similarly, 1 divided by 4 would be 0 0.25 and 1 divided by 3 would be 0.33 as you can see in the formula. Now, there must be a question you heard that uh, what if can, uh, like if a page W uh, is not redirected by any of the websites, so would its page rank go 0? Uh, not really because if you always have a damping constant usually uh, in most of the equations so that it can have a minimal value uh, at least. In this case, the equation of uh, calculating page rank for website W would slightly change and we will introduce a damping constant D in the equation. Uh, and the final equation becomes 1 minus D plus D star, the summation of page ranks coming from different web pages that it has. Uh, so that was a brief about how page rank works. Now the next big question uh, coming back to our original problem, what is text rank and how does it work? So eventually. Uh, text rank is pretty similar to page rank with two subtle changes. One is in place of web pages, uh, we are now calculating the ranking for text. So in place of web pages, we will be considering sentences of the text that we are entering. Second thing, uh, the grid that we are forming above uh, for given uh, each web page, we will be forming a similar grid for each sentence. Uh, so like uh, in the row, we will have each sentence, in the column, we will have each sentence. Now the metric that we are filling in. The equation changes a bit. So, uh, in case of page rank, we were following this particular equation. We were trying to calculate uh, the page rank of some web page W using the page rank of uh, the web page from which it is getting uh, some hyperlink. Now, in case of text rank, we have made things easier. So, uh, we would be filling this value with a similarity metric, some sort of a similarity metric that we can choose, and using that, we will be filling these values. So, for example, uh, let's take up some example and uh, no, uh, and try summarizing that. So uh, we have taken a sample text that is, uh, he is a nice guy, he has a lot of friends. Raj is his best friend. Now in this particular text, we have got uh, three sentences. So we have formed a similar grid as we saw earlier uh, in case of page rank. 
he is a nice guy he has a lot of friends rajesh is very friend similar here now between every pair of text that we are getting in we will be calculating a distance metric or a similarity metric uh so if we can uh, look at this uh, metric that we form uh, eventually it is it is something similar to some that we formed for page rank as well uh, where the values that were filled up were uh, one upon the total number of uh, unique urls the page has so eventually uh, here instead of that uh, if you remember the value 0.2 0.25 0.3 0.3 that we discussed earlier in place of that uh, here we have a uh, similarity between the two texts uh, except when the text is similar we are setting this value as 0 now this similarity can be anything it can be calculated using cosine similarity it can be a euclidean distance uh, by first converting a text into word embeddings and then eventually calculating the distance between the two metric uh, the two sentences or anything now once you are able to prepare this uh, matrix for all the sentences present we will move ahead with text rank uh, let's move ahead uh, with the formula and cal recalculation of the text ranks for each of the sentences assume these sentences to be sentence a sentence b and sentence c we'll assume that the text rank initially is 1 for each of them uh, now the damping factor is considered as 0.85 uh, as we discussed earlier uh, let's move on with our first iteration we are trying to recalculate the text rank for he has a lot of friends that is sentence number b here if you look closely uh, we are getting a formula 1 minus d plus d into text rank of the two the remaining two sentences apart from which that is text rank of a into the similarity between uh, sentence b and sentence a plus the text rank of c and the similarity between uh, sentence b and sentence c eventually this recal this calculates up to 1.36 now we will update the value for uh, text rank of b equals to 1.36 now next time uh, when we are calculating the uh, text rank for some other sentence like he is a nice guy our sentence number a the updated value for uh, sentence uh, the text rank if any uh, will be used so if you if you see uh, in our first sent in our first uh, step we were able to update the text rank for b so now the updated value for b a uh, text rank of b will be used so in place of 1 we are using 1.36 but still for text rank of c we are using 1 because uh, c's text rank hasn't been updated yet now we will go through multiple iterations like this until unless we see a saturation point where the text ranks aren't changing much and this is how uh we would be able to calculate uh, the text rank for all the three sentences present now uh, depending upon the highest text rank which our sentence has becomes our most important we will be sorting the sentences depending upon that and eventually becomes our most important and we will be fetching out the top n sentences for our summary so for our summarization